I'm going to run one mile every hour for 24 hours. Keep in mind that one mile is the same as 17 and a half football fields, which is insane. Please leave a like and subscribe because this was brutal. Okay, so I'm out here. It's currently 19 degrees and I'm gonna do my first mile. Right now I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not sure how long I can do this. I'm gonna try and push myself. Let's just start this first mile and see how we, how we do. So I'm not a fan of running, but I like trying new things. I want to see how far I can push myself physically and mentally. Oh boy. So to make it one mile, I do have to run this route two times. I'm already sweating too. Man, my legs are already hurting. What makes it rough is that there's snow everywhere. So I'm trying not to slip. Okay, so, oh, I just completed one mile and I have 23 of those more to do. Holy cow, I'm out of shape. Man, this is gonna be a hard challenge. My shins are already hurting. We'll see how much longer we can go. I'm going to do my second mile. Right now my legs are a little sore. It's going to get colder tonight and I'm not ready for that, but let's go do the second mile right now. Okay. So I just got done with mile two. And to start off, it was good. It was good starting off, I felt fine. And then around the second lap, coming around, I was like dead. So still got 22 miles to go. Mile after mile, I was running and keeping a steady pace of around 10 minutes a mile, which is around the average time that people can complete a mile. As long as I kept this going, I would have around 45 minutes to rest and drink some water. All right guys, mile five, my legs are hurting. I'm feeling super sore right now. It's getting colder, so I have gloves on now. Sun's gonna set soon, we're five miles in. Let's do this. Mile five was definitely a turning point, but in the worst way. I have never felt leg pain like this before, and it only got worse the more I ran. Okay, so mile five is done. I think I took a little bit longer to actually complete this mile. That's fine though. Probably gonna let my body rest just for a little bit and then plow through mile number six, hopefully. I wonder what my fastest mile will be during this challenge and hopefully I could last even all 24 miles. You guys wish me luck. Oh my gosh, okay. <clears throat> mile six is completed. I gotta go catch a meeting right now. To be honest, it's not bad when I'm done. Like when I get done with these miles, it feels really accomplishing. But while I'm running them, it's a whole different story. My legs hurt. It's hard to breathe because it's so cold out. There's snot coming out my nose. It's like so much. But yeah, I gotta go get to my meeting. I'll be back for number seven. It was getting cold really quick. My leg was still in pain and at this point I was questioning my life choices. Every mile I ran was a new milestone. Never could I imagine myself running even five miles at this point. Okay, you guys, we are starting mile nine. You can see my breath, that's how cold it is, you guys. And also for the nighttime, I do have some reflective gear, as you guys can see, something like reflective. And also got a light so I don't get hit by a car. So yeah, let's start this ninth mile now. This is where things started to go downhill. Okay, so I just completed my 10th mile. I'm glad we finally got two double digits. It's currently 10.30 around right now, and I still have 14 more hours or 14 more miles to go. I'm not worried about the cold anymore because I get warm when I run. The only problem is literally my leg. My right leg hurts really bad, but yeah, I'm just glad I'm 10 miles in. Shout out to Jesse. I got inspiration from his video when he did this challenge as well. Jesse's insane. Go check out his channel. He has lots of crazy videos, but yeah, I'm gonna go get some rest now, and I will be back out for mile 11. Do you think you're gonna complete the challenge? Uh, I don't know. My Why? Body, my body hurts. My legs hurt. If it wasn't for my legs, I think I'd just be tired and that would be my only struggle. But my leg hurts so bad. Because I mean, here you put in this much effort. You will not complete it? I mean, I'll do my, I'll do my best. Okay, so I am now officially halfway done with this challenge. Um, I'm gonna be honest, starting this 12th mile was probably one of the hardest miles to start. Walking down the stairs, I was limping. When I first started running, I was limping. As you get back into it, all that pain just goes away and right now I cannot feel anything, but I sure know that when I do my 13th mile, I'm gonna feel it more. But right now I feel more awake and I'm just super happy that I completed number 12 and we are halfway done with this. I'm not sure how much longer I can go to be honest, so. So I'm on mile 13 and it's getting 
really hard to run. So I'm walking the rest of this mile because I feel like my leg's going to like fall off. Um, hopefully I can push through this and make it the full 24 miles. I'm getting pretty sleepy. So hopefully I don't sleep past my alarm because I am setting alarms for when I do take a nap. Okay, mile 13 is completed. So this was the longest mile. It took about 17 minutes. That's because I walked. Hopefully my leg feels better the next mile and we could get another 10 minute mile, 11 minute mile, whatever I've been averaging. Man, I just, I just wanna be done with this already. So mile 13 was my last mile. I ended up falling asleep, waking up, and the pain was just too much for me to even handle. So 13 miles is how far I push myself. And I feel like I let down a lot of people who were actually rooting for me throughout the night. So I just gotta say thank you guys so much for supporting me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.